pressuring schools to raise test scores got diminishing returns, new study of No Child Left Behind finds. Here's an article from Chalkbeat, and it begins with the right question. Does tightening the screws on schools and teachers lead to benefits for students? For some reason, education leaders are consumed with the idea that it does. But at best, we can say that tightening the screws can result in some small, short-term increases in achievement. This is what we saw from the 2002 No Child Left Behind Act and subsequent years of implementation. In 2002, politicians decided that schools were not doing a good enough job, so this law put a massive amount of pressure on schools to improve. And how are we going to measure improvement? Of course, we are going to require students to take lots and lots of expensive tests. As a result, over the past 16 years, billions of dollars have flowed out of school systems to companies who make tests and test-related materials. This has been an enormous cash grab. But what are the results? Oh, there are some. For reading and math, the gains are described as tiny, about a half a point in both subjects. Let's do a simple cost-benefit analysis. The cost of testing is extremely high, and the benefit seems negligible. So what's going on here? Eh, I don't think you're going to like it. The article continues by talking about when we saw the biggest gains from No Child Left Behind. Much of the increase in achievement happened right away. There was a lot of buzz around this new law in 2002. People were excited, resulting in a short burst of energy with schools and classrooms getting on board. So students did slightly better in the short run. However, over the years, as the newness wore off and the pressure was ramped up, we saw diminishing returns. Things kind of started to fall apart. With the failure rate of many schools increasing, teachers burning out, students stressing out, and parents threatening to opt out. Okay, so let's fast forward. In 2015, the government passed the Every Student Succeeds Act. This act called for student testing every year from grades 3 through 8, plus once in high school in math and reading. That's a lot of testing. It sounds familiar. I guess they are interested in spending billions more to get those same tiny results. Now, I feel like a broken record every time I talk about this issue. So here we go again. Just stop the testing. We don't have to keep doing it. Let's swallow our pride and consider it a failed 16-year experiment and just walk away. Oh, and if we're interested in big results in our schools, let's try this. Take the billions that we were spending on the tests and invest in our teachers.